Good evening. Is your heart fine now? Is that you settled down? You almost died, I'm sorry. It's still pounding, I'm sorry. But to be honest, it was not my idea. It was Leonard's idea, actually. I was innocent. I was only helping him. I am happy for all the hearing and the deaf that are here. Again, I will say I have an interpreter. I'm acting deaf. I'm, I'm happy to have the hearing people, the visitors here, and I'm happy. As I was watching, I saw there was a lot of deaf here as well. I'm really happy for that. I really feel excited. There's hearing people. They can sign. They can sing. And I, I just got chilled. Some of them I thought they didn't even know sign language and they started to sign. Wow, that's exciting. Do we have a volunteer to pray? A deaf person to pray. A Christian young man. Anyone? A volunteer? Freddie Pitt, we don't have any. Anyone that hasn't prayed yet here for the deaf? Maybe you want to pray? preaching about our choice, about sin, and about God, and about loving, loving Jesus. There's people that ignore him, but I do pray that they could understand as they go home, they could learn, they could learn to love you, that we could all learn and understand that the choice is ours in his name. Thank you.
But there's deaf people here that will ask me, that one deaf person, what happened to him? His face is different. When people ask me, I said, well, he became a Christian. I, I once met a person, a hearing person, and he asked me, what, what happened to that person? What happened to that person? His face is so different. And then I told him that he became a Christian. His face brightened up. It's a true happening right here. There is a person among us that experienced that. Jesus knows. Jesus knows. Do you want to have a smile on your face? Would you like to be happy and have a smile on your face? The Word of God is the answer. If you obey the Word of God, you can be happy. But if you just think it's boring, you think it's boring, you know what, I don't even care about it, it will show on your face and you will not be happy. The Word of God brings joy. It's holy. Today, I do not want you to be lazy. If I ask for a volunteer, I would like somebody to instantly come up here. I want you to help me today. If I ask for a volunteer, I don't want to beg for a long time. If I call somebody, quickly stand up and come, please. Okay, I need a volunteer right now. Somebody. There we go. How can I get to heaven? Thank you. That was good, thank you. Do you know how you can get to heaven? Do you know? How can you get to heaven? You might think, oh, can you like, drive to the city, pay for jet tickets, have your bags all packed, because you still have to check the security, get on the jet, get your seatbelt on, listen to some music. <laughs> Just wait, fine, and you're going to fly. And you're going to fly to heaven. And there you will be happy. Is that the end? Is that how it works? No. Well, of course not. How then? How can you get to heaven? <laughs> so when you die, the person is going to throw you up there and you're going to be there, right? Okay, I'll just sit here and wait. Alright, fine. I'll just wait. I might sleep some. I'll just wait. And all of a sudden I'll be in heaven, right? Is that the way to go? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you think it's just easy, no. simple, no. and you'll just get to heaven just, just like that? Oh, so you say you need to do the hard work. And just work and work. And get really, really tired like that. That is the way? You said it's hard, but how? Oh yeah, she is right. We need a change of heart. That is right. Who is making the choice of whether we're, you'll go to heaven or to hell? Right, everyone for himself. I cannot choose for you. I don't know what you're going to choose. So I can't choose for you. But one thing I can tell you, there is not going to be one single sin that is permitted to get into heaven. You will not be able to pocket the sin and still go to heaven. Just one little sin. Heaven is holy and pure. 
very, very holy. Yes, of course, we fail. We do sin, we fail. But Jesus is there to forgive. If your heart and your attitude is repentant, and if you realize you sin and you repent again and again and again, doesn't matter if it happens a lot, Jesus will forgive. But sin will not enter heaven. You can try to hide sin. If you just put it in your back pocket, nobody's going to see that. You can try to get to heaven that way. And you, do you think that Jesus is going to miss that sin that you put in your back pocket? No, of course not. So how long are you going to be in hell if you go to hell? When is it going to end? Never. It's going to be forever and ever and ever. And it's going to be torment and pain and just terrible pain. It is never going to end. Never. I want you to understand that very clearly. We have different churches that say, ha, huh, there is no hell. Jesus' love could never get anyone to hell. That is a lie. There is churches out there that say that, but that is a lie. Please don't believe that. The Bible clearly says that hell is going to last forever. And the Bible clearly says that heaven is holy. Today, I want to explain the answer to that question. How can I go to heaven? I want to answer that question. I know it's time for money up fast. I don't know if we'll have time for everything. If you sit there and you think, oh, I, I don't know, what, is that? what does Isaac mean? Please stand up and wave your hands. I really, really want you to understand it very clearly. I do not like the death later come to me and say, I didn't understand your message. My desire is that you would clearly understand the Holy Word of God. I want you to understand the truth. The truth from the Bible. Somebody that can read well, volunteer uh, to read. Uh, there we go, we have a volunteer. Thank you. Right. 
the devil brings evil thoughts into your mind. It's a spirit, you can't see it. Bible. I'm going to do that as well. 
Buy, I'm going to go buy a Bible. Mm, I wonder who sells Bibles. So how much do I need to pay for that? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I, I really like the Bible. I love reading the Bible. So the man that sells it has says, oh, good. Oh, I feel good. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take the Bible. And I'm, I'm, thank you, I'm going to read the Bible. Yes, I'm going home and I'm reading the Bible. I'm not even thinking. I'm thinking about the next beer that I'm going to drink when I'm reading the Bible. Oh, I'm thinking about women, how beautiful the women are. Whoa. Oh, that's exciting. I'm going to church again. And I listen to the message. Oh, good. Oh, dear. That was ruined. It's dirty again. I feel so dirty. But I'm reading the Bible already. Oh, no, I need to remember to smile. So, what else is that man doing? Why are they just constantly picking on me? I'm not that bad. Ah, oh, I remember. I saw that man help the poor. Helping the poor. I'm going to go find a poor person. Let me see if I find somebody. Anyone that is poor, I remember he was giving some money to the poor. Ah, yes, I remember. Else were there. Ah, I'm going to give him some money. I love you. Look at me, I'm happy. <laughs>
got it now. I went to church. I really, I really don't like church that much, but yeah, I'm going to church. I'm praying to God. I don't feel bad. I smile, I have a good haircut. Again, a Christian person comes up to me and talks to me. Well, look at this. Oh, there's one more thing I need. I need the word of Jesus in my heart. Yeah, now, now the heart says Jesus. Of course, I love Jesus.
that people, I love you all of them. My heart is burdened. The devil loves to just try to pull you away and try and make you think that just coming up outright and doing right is enough. All of the hearing out there, I love you. The devil, right now, is trying to get wild and trying to show all sorts of things to you. The devil is trying that you will just act like a Christian. He's trying to make you act like a Christian without actually repenting. If you are just acting like a Christian from the outside and you're just doing the deeds that you will go to hell. Can Benny go to heaven? Yes, there is a way. He can. Many people know that they have sin in their heart. They come crying, they meet the person, they cry, they name, yeah, there's a few things I did, you know, this and this and this, there's all the sins that I did. So if he's asked, you might ask the other person, am I a Christian now? And the other person says, yes. But there's one sin that you are too ashamed to admit. Good deeds. There's a lot of um, there's a lot of best people that say I became a Christian, but Christian life is so hard. Pedro, is the Christian life hard? No. Why does he say that? Why do a lot of deaf people tell me the Christian life is hard? Because they're focusing on the deeds, but their heart is still black with sin. They're trying to do the right thing, they're trying to go to church, go to read the Bible, but in their heart, there is no lust or sin. Oh yeah, on my phone, I'm going to look at all those bad movies. Oh yeah, next I'm going to read the Bible. Oh, I'm going to take my phone again. There's lust on the phone. That is hard, that's true. If you try to be in between, that is terribly hard. If you try to hide one sin in your heart, that is hard. There is only one way to heaven, only one. The Bible does not have a lot of options, there is one. not a whole lot of options. There's just that one choice to be Can we say, oh, there's an Isaac's way, there's Clarence's way, Claus's way, Jerry's way? Of course not. Oh, the church has been shook out. Oh, has rules and whatnot. No. It's the word of God.
It's not special to them that he arose. It's the Bible. There's only one way to heaven. I have read it from the Bible and I understand it from the Bible. The Bible says that heaven is holy and sin cannot enter there. Only good actions are not going to bring you to heaven.
means total surrender. Where the black card is, I don't care. I don't care. It's okay. He now has a new heart. Blessed. Now, somebody, somebody come up through the one for peace.
no one who is sinful minded. Just thinking sin? But it says, no one who is sinful minded or tells lies can go in. Only those whose names when Jesus sees that you have repented, he writes down your name. He sees a person that repents, there's no sin, pure, the sin is just surrendered, he writes down the name. Later, if he does not see the name of the book of life, he's going to send them to hell. Some people might have sinned only once, but they go to hell. But if you sin, you hide that, and you don't repent, you're going to be in hell forever. You might take drugs, you might be drinking, you might be smoking. It doesn't matter. If there's one sin or if there's a lot of sin, if you didn't repent, you're going to go to hell. If you have one sin that you keep holding on to, or if you have a lot of sins, it's the same thing. You're going to go to hell. You have a lot of sins that you love, and you decide to repent and surrender everything to Jesus, you will go to heaven. If you have only one little sin, and you decide to surrender that sin to Jesus, and you repent, you're also going to go to heaven. It's the same thing for those who repent. Whoa! Maybe we see that person. Oh, he has. Oh, he's so bad. He has all those sins. But he can repent. He can have full surrender. If you committed adultery once, that is worthy of hell. You need to repent. That is the answer. Now Jesus invites all of you. If you feel 
feel that pounding in your breast. But you, you decide you just want to show the people that I repent. That is not enough. If you just want to repent and then you want to go back and sin, do not come If you decide that I will repent and I will stay faithful, you're welcome to come up. I will start singing, and if you feel that pounding, you're welcome to come forward. Thank you. 